guys, it's me Victoria and in today's video I am going to be talking all about sand baths for hamsters. I get so many questions about sand baths, like what type of sand do you use, what do you recommend, can I leave it in the cage all the time? So today I'm going to be answering all of those questions for you. So why do hamsters need sand baths? Hamsters actually cannot be bathed in water like a dog or other animals can be because when a hamster gets bathed with soap and water, um, it actually removes a lot of the good oils in their coat and it can wreck their coat. So a good way to get rid of any excess oils is to provide them with a sand bath. Now when looking for a sand bath for your hamster, something that you are going to want to avoid is anything that is labeled dust or powder. You really need to avoid those because they are very fine, so they can actually cause a respiratory infection, which is something you do not want to experience. So now I'm going to be talking about the different types of sands that you can use for your hamster. The first option that you can use is very heavy and... Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> so the first option is children's play sand from your local hardware store. This is a perfectly good option and this is great for a lot of people who aren't able to go into their pet store and get sand. Um, this is also a lot cheaper option. I got this 55 pound bag of children's play sand for $12 which is great because I go through sand very fast because I have three hamsters that use it. Some couple of things to note about play sand is that you are going to want to check to see if it says if it's heat treated. If it says it's heat treated then you don't need to sanitize it unless you really feel the need to but if it doesn't say that it's heat treated I do recommend putting it on a baking tray and then putting it in the oven. You can bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes and that should get rid of any bacterias or funguses growing in it. Another thing is that I recommend getting a sifter and sifting through the children's play sand. A lot of people tend to say that it can be too rough and it can wreck your hamster's coat and skin, which I have never seen any evidence of. I've never seen a hamster's coat be wrecked from children's play sand. But just to be on the safe side, I do recommend sifting through the play sand because children's play sand does tend to have thicker pieces, I think that's what you would call it, so it is a good idea to just sift through it. The next option is reptile sand. I got this from Amazon for $22 for a 10 pound bag. Now when looking at reptile sand, there are a couple of things you need to make sure. The first thing is that it's not dyed, it needs to be 100% all natural, and you also want to make sure there are no uh, minerals or calcium added, those things can cause impaction, which is actually one of the reasons reptile owners don't use calcium sand because it can harm their reptiles. So that goes for hamsters as well. I think the reptile sand can be a really great option if you don't feel like going through all of the work of the place sand. Of course you do get less, but it is um, a lot softer and you don't have to sift through it. And the last option of course is chinchilla bath sand from your local pet store. Now this isn't my favorite option. Um, one for the price, I paid $12 for about 700 grams of sand. That is not a lot compared to the other two options. Another reason that I don't like this option is because a lot of brands will say it's chinchilla bath sand and then it ends up being super dusty like this KT chinchilla bath sand. While it does say it's 100% volcanic mountain pumice, it is super dusty. Um, and it's also obviously a much different type of sand than the children's play sand and the reptile sand. There also is a kind of a controversial brand going on right now and that is the Tiny Friends Farm sand. A lot of people have said that the formula has changed and it has become a lot dustier. So I actually went ahead and emailed the company. So they did go ahead and email me back and they did say that the formula has not changed and that the type of um, material that they use is called sep sepiolite mineral, which is a naturally occurring clay mineral. So there were a lot of people saying that this sand actually clumps now, but the reason for that would be because the type of material that they use actually is very absorbent. I even found that someone has made a cat litter from this um, clay mineral because it clumps. So that would be one of the reasons that it clumps. So because there isn't a lot of information for hamsters when it comes to which sand is safe, 
There really is no way to say whether or not this sand is safe or not. Personally, I would avoid it because there are other better options to use, but just remember to use this at your own risk. Now, when giving your hamsters a sand bath, you are gonna wanna provide them with a large container to bathe in. I see a lot of people often use these for their sand baths. These are much too tiny for your hamster to properly bathe in. Hamsters like to have a large sand dish that they are able to dig in the corners and do little flips and things. Um, it's also recommended that in your sand bath, you put a hideout or something similar to that so that they can go in the hideout and dig and stuff so that they feel a little bit safer to use the sand. Feel free to keep your hamster sand bath in their cage 24-7. It won't harm them. Um, the only thing is you just need to make sure you are scooping out any poop and pee and other materials that get into the sand bath, which can be really easy if you get yourself a little sifter, which you can just get from the dollar store. So hopefully this video has answered any of your questions about sand. I've just gotten so many that I thought it would be a good idea to just sit down and answer them all. So hopefully I have. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Bye!